In the last few years, there has been a new wave of influencers popping up that have all gained their popularity simply by acting outrageous. We had the Catch Me Outside girl, Whoa Vicky, Lil Tay. All of these people have gained their fan bases from being purposely unlikable or by doing unbelievably shocking things. It's this new category of entertainers. But today, we are going to take a look at one of these influencers who took this idea way too far. This is the story of lovely peaches burning and itching burning and itching itching and burning itching and burning so not only am i chorus mom i'm chorus pimp it gives me joy knowing that my daughter's gonna be abused and sold and raped for the rest of her life are you insane i'm so job. happy right now because i'm going to kill my own baby um i've already made people have sex with her and i'm going to kill her tonight This is Brittany Johnson, but most people know her by her stage name, Lovely Peaches. She's been posting on social media for a few years now. I don't know exactly how long she's been posting. It was really hard to follow dates for this story because it spans across dozens of deleted accounts that have had their entire history wiped. But I do know that Peaches was posting and relevant on social media all the way back in 2017 at the age of 16. Now, what is Peaches post? Why are we talking about her? Why, why is she relevant? That's where it gets a bit controversial. She mainly posts on Instagram and Snapchat and to me there's like two sides of what she does. On one hand Peachy makes really trolly content that is really comical. Like she'll go on live streams and pretend to fight her alter ego. You don't know me girl. I am you. I know you better than anyone else. I'm better than you. I look better than you. So stupid as hell. Or she'll upload videos of her doing Q and A's, but act like she has no clue about anything at all. Are you right wing or left wing? Um, my fair wings are. Um, honestly, I really like buffalo wings. She also makes a lot of trolly music. She has a song called "Burning and Itching," which actually ended up going pretty viral on TikTok a while ago. I got STDs. Now this is the side of Peaches that I really like. It's a lot of really dumb, but also very funny content. But unfortunately, Peaches has this other side of her that is not so great. Sprinkled in with the comedy trolley stuff, she also posts a lot of really gross, disturbing things. Most of it's too graphic to show, but I'm sure you can get an image in your head. You're welcome in advanced. <laughs> She'll upload videos of her eating her feces. She'll post pictures of her rubbing her period blood on her face. She'll even record herself making out with dogs. And from what I can see, it all looks to be legit and not like some clever trick. Like I don't think she's rubbing oatmeal mixed with pudding in her teeth. It seems very real. But through these posts, both disgusting and funny, Peaches has gained quite a big following over a short time. Her main Instagram page has nearly 500,000 followers and this is even after she's had her accounts terminated multiple times for various reasons. Apparently, Instagram doesn't like when you eat your feces on live stream. Who would have thought? <laughs> I'm guessing her main audience is probably a bunch of teens slash kids who just like sharing disgusting things with their friends because that's the only way I could justify why someone would want to follow Peaches and see her rubbing a tampon all over her face on their feet. I kind of wish she would stick to the comedy stuff because a lot of it is entertaining and it's being tainted by all this other gross things she does. Does. Over the years, there's been some confusion around Peaches. Some people think all these posts are just jokes, and others think that she may be mentally ill. But at this point, I was pretty convinced that Peaches was just like these other influencers, trying to create outrage for some fame through these stunts. She makes multiple backup accounts to safeguard her audience. She's using her new fame to start a music career. She's selling shoutouts for money. She's constantly talking about her fans. It appeared to be strategic and not, this girl's insane. But then, my opinions on Peachy started to weaken when she introduces her baby, Cora.
In 2018, at age 17, Peaches announced to her fans that she had given birth to a baby named Cora. There was a little mystery as to who the father was, but other than that, everyone was excited for Peachy. But over the course of a few months, things started to get a little weird with Cora. First, Peaches began going on live streams and started talking about Cora, but the things she said about her were kind of strange. The bitch was talking shit, talking shit, talking shit. So once I get that camera, I, I ain't finna stunt, you know. If I got my camera out, best believe it's finna go down in this bitch. So, she started crying or whatever. And I'm like, they ain't gonna save you now. She talk all that shit. But you can't f fight. And I got the camera out. Now obviously, this seems like another joke. She's trying to say her infant was talking smack and trying to fight her, but it's it's a baby. It's not fighting anyone, you know? So this seemed like another troll and no one was really ever concerned about it. She continued posting similar stuff like this for a while and I gotta admit, some of it's really funny. <laughs> An adult tried to fight a baby. That's comical, right? They use that in movies. Jesus. Look at his face. Dumb little face. Stop. Yo, Zan, get your boy, dog. Oh, hey. As more time went on though, these jokes started to get more and more weird. Peaches began posting very cryptic messages on her Snapchat and Instagram that seemed to allude to Cora being hurt or possibly being mistreated by Peaches. And over the course of more time, these incidents slowly started to get worse. Like, I'm f***ing mad as f*** when I even think about her. That's why I made this page in the first place. The things Peaches was saying about Cora started to become actually concerning. This is when I think Peaches fans began to worry that this wasn't just another joke, but an actual case of abuse. The next things Peaches starts posting is very extreme and I feel like I kinda need to warn you guys a little bit because the next few clips get pretty disgusting, so be warned. Peaches started going on live streams again and instead of talking trash about Cora, she began saying how she wanted to hurt her. I want, I want her stomach to be right here. I just want to take the knife and just, you dirty, disgusting, you disgust me. This is when the red flags were going up for everyone. You can see in the live stream comments that a lot of the people watching were shocked by what they were hearing and they were trying to get Peaches to stop, but she just kept continuing with no care in the world. The story then progresses some more. As the concern surrounding lovely Peaches was growing rapidly, she changed her course. Instead of wanting to hurt Cora, Peaches had a new brilliant plan that she shared with her audience. She says she was going to try and sell Cora to pimps and older men so she could make some money. Offer. Okay, so not only am I Cora's mom, I'm Cora's pimp. I'm gonna be selling her for sixty dollars to each man. Um, that's the prices. If you're uh, a man into interested in a cute baby girl she's sexy she pretty yada 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 now this is about the time that the story became big news a bunch of youtubers started covering it trying to bring attention to the situation are you insane this is your child she is a Baby. Hashtag save Cora started going around everywhere on social media and there was even a few petitions started with thousands of signatures wanting Peaches to be investigated by the police. But Peaches still didn't let up. You'd think if you'd see all these comments saying they're going to the police and she's gonna be arrested and all this, you'd think she'd stop or just tone it down a bit, but she didn't. She continued the story that she was selling Cora to traffickers for money. She started posting DMs that were apparently between her and another another person that was helping her sell Cora, and she also started showing phone call recordings of her discussing how she was gonna sell Cora to a guy. It's really gross. They're talking about like how they're gonna beat up and Cora's past experiences with men. Like, oh, it's really gross. Oh, she, she has to be a virgin. Is she a virgin? Um, no, she's not a virgin. Well, how many times has she done this before? Um, she first lost her Four months. This whole situation was all looking very real and very disturbing. And you might be asking, where were the police during all of this? Because this happened over the span of many months, so it seemed like they had plenty of time to intervene. Well, let me tell you. In an attempt to save Cora, Peachy's location in Louisiana and a bunch of other personal information was found and leaked to the internet, which then allowed hundreds of people to call her local authorities to try to alert them of what was going on. But even after that, 
it appeared like nothing was being done, and Peaches was free to continue doing whatever she was doing to Cora. This made a lot of people furious. And unfortunately, over the months, Peachy's behavior towards Cora kept getting even worse. It gives me joy knowing that my daughter's gonna be a b is sold a for the rest of her life. She's gonna have a miserable life all thanks to her me. <laughs> She continued to amp up everything. You seeing this from hell? Your mama don't even miss you, bitch. I'm happy you gone. That's why you was raped, sex trafficked, molested, and beat at only four months years old. Getting more and more intense. I am so happy right now because I'm going to kill my own baby. Um, I've already made people have sex with her and I'm going to kill her tonight. And this all leads us to a final live stream where Peachy's tells everyone what she inevitably did to Cora. We got into it so bad one day. We was arguing and and I just, I, I kind of went overboard and I got so freaking angry with her. And I grabbed, <laughs> I grabbed her by the throat and I choked that hoe for about a minute straight. Um, eventually I started to see her lose motion in her eyes, so I did stop and it wasn't intentional, so it's not my fault. I couldn't get her to breathe, I tried CPR, um, and she just wasn't breathing, and I figured that I would go to sleep, and this was just all a bad dream, and when I woke up, she'd be there, you know, crying. When I, I wake up to her crying, but she, Firstly, Cora is alive and unharmed. To this day, there is a ton of confusion about Lovely Peaches. A lot of people think she really did kill her baby, but if you go to her account today, you'll see that she's still posting about Cora almost daily. So what's the truth? Like I said, while this whole series of events was going on with Cora and people were going insane trying to save this baby, it seemed like the police weren't doing anything. But it turns out there was a reason as to why. I got in contact with a few of the people that had called the police during all this, the main one being a YouTuber by the name Margo Indigo. When Margo called the police to get answers about Cora, they had told her that the reason they weren't doing anything was because Cora was never in any harm's way. Cora is in fact Peach's baby, that's not a lie, but Peach's never had custody of her to begin with. She never had custody of her daughter, they confirmed that. In fact, Peach's lives states away from Cora, who has lived with Peach's grandparents and father since the very beginning. It turns out that apparently Peaches had ran away right after having Cora, which means realistically Peaches was probably only with Cora for a couple of weeks after she was born before she left. But then you may be asking, how does Peaches constantly post pictures of Cora? If she hasn't seen this baby in years and has no contact with her, how is she posting selfies? Well, if you pay attention to Peachy's posts, you will notice that she uses the same dozen photos of Cora over and over again. This one particular photo of Cora on a blanket she uses non-stop and it's because she's using super old photos she took with Cora when she had her and she can't get any new ones. Anytime you do see a picture of Cora at an older age you can see that Peaches took it from a family member's account and blatantly cropped out the people in the photo. The eerie part of all of this is that Cora should be a toddler by now because this has been going on for a couple years but to this day Peaches continues to use the same infant pictures over and over over again to feed this bizarre story. And this all makes you wonder, why is she doing this? I was still thinking this was some kind of sick troll, but after doing a little digging and talking with people, I started to second guess my opinions. Um, when Margot talked to the police, they had told her a little backstory about Peaches. I think they did this because they were sick of people nonstop calling them and they were trying to clear the confusion. And the only way to do this seemed to be to explain everything. Apparently Peaches had a pretty rough upbringing. Her mom had passed away and she was known in the system as a runaway child who would run away from home. Okay, let's just take a moment to celebrate me. Okay, so I ran away. Sunday will be a month. This is my eighth time running away. I start running away at 13. I ran away at 13, 14, 15, two times at 16. And I think this is my, I'm 17 now and I, I, I can't even keep up with all the times I don't run away, but it's been eight times. Um, Anyways, coming up will be a month that I've been missing this time, and I'm um, pretty excited. I'm going to throw a little party or whatever. 
And if you think about it, she's only 18 right now, living alone, states away from her family, and this has been happening online at least since she was 16. Margot also said that the police told her that Peaches was involved in some super traumatic event at one point, but they never went into any details on what this was for her privacy's sake. People have speculated that the event was her being sex trafficked when she was a kid, and they say that's the reason she made up this whole story about Cora, but that's just speculation. And this seems to be the end end of the story. We're kind of left with more questions than answers. It's it's fucking sad, dude. Like this shit is seriously sad. Um Luckily, Cora was never in harm's way, but I can't help but feel some empathy towards lovely Peaches, which is crazy to say after hearing all the things she's done. In the end, I think she's a mixture of a troll and a girl who has some serious problems. Although it's not clear what those problems are, I think there's more going on than just a girl trying to make everyone mad. Either way though, at the end of the day, Peaches is just like any other shock value influencer. Although she's really extreme, her goal is to get attention and fame, and I'm really hoping Hoping that going forward people stop engaging with her so she can get offline and hopefully get some help. I've always had some issues with all these problematic influencers rising to fame because we are just validating their poor behavior with likes and attention. It's like a bad kid, you're not supposed to give them love and attention when they are doing something wrong. The best thing we can do with Peaches or any influencer like this is don't like her posts, don't follow her, don't share her around because the biggest punishment for these types of influencers is to cut off the attention that feeds their behavior.